Okay, so uh, I recorded this drawing and then I sped it up four times its regular speed so that uh, you don't have to watch all the uh, indecision. And um, then upon watching it, I realized that without any audio, it's boring. So I'm going to tell a story as it's happening. Once upon a time, there was a paw print. It was orange. It had a pear. There was a second paw print, which was slightly different because of an accident with a bear trap. The paw print got wet with water at some point, uh, and it was very fond of the number three. Suddenly, triangles from the sky came down, and then one from the ground came up, and then another one came down from the other side, creating a cage-like environment. Oh, and suddenly the world turned from outdoors to indoors and then portals in the paw print opened one for each finger and then one on each palm and then stranger portals arrived on the deformed paw and print and then there was much indecision and then a darkness surrounded um, paw prints and in some cases went through them creating a sense of energy and feeling but then it dissipated some then there was more paw printage uh what's what's that new growth arrived like spring and it surrounded everything on the ground that was on ground level uh mountains appeared in the background and a sky above it uh this is very much a creation myth <laughs> and then there were um then the trout began to swim, uh, leaving um, traces, and uh, Café du Monde changed its location to this new place, and um, the building inspector came and realized that the things that were holding up the uh, Café du Monde uh, ceiling were not structural enough, so he had to come in and make some adjustments. Um, he was a master carpenter. Uh, he made chairs and tables. He also made a bed with chairs on both sides for headboards, which he liked, but no one else seemed to understand because he was a misunderstood carpenter. Um, he liked to imagine himself sitting at this bed chair thing, uh, and he would liked to imagine that it was with a friend of his, Paul, and they would have coffee together and it was wonderful. Um, he always thought that he had a much more yellow complexion compared to Paul who was kind of bluish in um, face and but uh, uh, the building inspector could see that part of, of him and so they all like enjoyed their coffee and they wrote some stuff and they wore pants and they wore shirts and Paul was fond of the color purple. Uh, not so much the building inspector um, the building inspector much preferred green and orange, um, and, uh, they, uh, chilled in this cafe in the building inspector's fantasy as he was, you know, making it more stable, and, um, it, you know, just thinking of Paul being there made him want to make the place much safer, and, uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, the the sculptural guy came in and decided that he needed to put some like sculptural pieces and he put them in the uh, in the like a Roman kind of like sculpture style only he didn't he wasn't one of the fellows that recognized that uh, during the Romans time the statues were colored with nice vibrant colors and he likes to go for the old archaic look so he just kind of does that and then um, Things were too cool. Things were cool, and then uh, uh, a promenade was made that went above the cafe, which was nice. This is my song, Epic Journey. I hope you like it. It's an epic journey. It's my epic journey. We're gonna go now. Oh, oh, on an epic journey. We're marching. Oh, uh, going through the mountainsides. What's that? What's that we see? It's our fate. Wow, I feel so victorious. So victorious. Oh, we made it here with our 
Awesome. Woo.